Hello, I'm Dr. Leanna Zunet of the University of Western Ontario in London, Ontario, Canada. This is the traditional view we have of predator-prey interactions, predators killing prey. In this case, predators eating the eggs and nestlings of songbirds. Predators, of course, also scare prey, and our research shows that fear itself is powerful enough to affect the population dynamics of wildlife. Specifically, we found that fear alone caused a 40% reduction in the number of offspring songbirds produce per year. We study the admittedly drab but spectacular sounding song sparrow on the glorious Gulf Islands in beautiful British Columbia, Canada. To isolate the effects of fear itself, we first had to eliminate direct predation which we did by protecting every nest in the experiment against predators. We protected against raccoons and other mammals by surrounding every nest with electric fencing, and we covered every nest with seine netting, which allowed the sparrows to get to their nests, but prevented predatory birds like this crow from doing so. We were able to verify that we had successfully eliminated direct predation by placing miniature cameras on every nest that permitted us to record everything that happened using several custom-built continuous video surveillance systems. To manipulate fear, we hung speakers from trees every 0.4 hectares over a 16 hectare area, some of which broadcast predator calls and sounds, like this raven, while speakers at other locations broadcast non-predator calls and sounds. All of the speakers broadcast every few minutes, 24 hours a day, over the entire 130-day breeding season. Females exposed to predator playbacks throughout the season built their nests in denser, thornier vegetation, like this female who has nested in a rose bush to better protect herself. They were also more skittish, like this female who is flushed from the nest in the middle of the night, exposing her eggs to the cold and so reducing the likelihood that they will hatch. Predator playback females also spent less time incubating their eggs and fed their nestlings less often, which we were able to quantify using our camera systems, as you can see here. All of these effects on behavior translated into effects on the number of offspring produced because predator playback females laid fewer eggs, more of their eggs failed to hatch, as we can see here where there are two unhatched eggs in the nest together with two nestlings, and a greater proportion of their nestlings starved to death which is what is happening here. The nestling on the left has already died, and the nestling in the foreground is slowly dying as well. The cumulative result being that predator playback females produced 40% fewer offspring over the season, meaning that 40% fewer young successfully fledged from the nest, as these young are doing here. Our experimental results corroborate recent correlative studies that suggest fear of wolves affects reproduction in elk. Fear of lynx affects reproduction in snowshoe hares. And even the fear of sharks affects their prey. Coming back to songbirds, our results suggest that introduced predators, like this feral cat, are causing population declines not just because they're killing birds, but because they are instilling fear and terror in them in much the same way that rats instill fear and terror in most of us.